You get whichever ones you want. <laughs> you don't know which one now. Okay, hmm. Amberlynn, what did you get? Lettuce. How much lettuce did you get? Two. Eight. Two. Eight. Okay, you're being weird. Because I can eight them. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay guys, we're at Meadows Farms Nursery, one of our favorite nurseries to come because they have lots of stuff, lots of plants. Uh, they just got a big delivery, so if you're in the Virginia area, uh, especially the Stafford one, go ahead and check it out because they got plenty of stuff here. Uh, it's pretty amazing everything they got. We're going to walk around and show you guys what they have here. Are you ready to take a look? All right, so one of the reasons I love coming here is because they have a big variety of fruit and winter stuff as well, um, especially these hostas that are pretty amazing because I know we showed off one of the hostas and uh, we got a couple more hostas from fruit and winters on the way to a new one called Miss America, but I want to show you guys, uh, again, the variety of stuff that they have here at Meadows Farm. Um, the hostas are absolutely beautiful. Look at this one right here. This is, uh, I just saw it. This is Empress Wu, the biggest hosta they have currently. Um, available and I know there's a bigger one that's coming as well I'm not sure how big it is but I think it's a little bit bigger called Miss America that's the one that we're expecting to get to but that's a pretty big hassle so um, again if you're anywhere in the Stafford area Virginia area all these metal farms there's 18 locations that you can find a whole bunch of plants at hope you guys can hear me because it's kind of loud here um, I'm using an external mic usually I have the uh, De lapel mic but it's, it's a little bit louder here because they got the fans going on here it's nice and warm here in this uh, this greenhouse here so uh, but yeah, these hostages are definitely uh, pretty amazing. They have a couple of other plants that we'll go around and take a look. Some pukaras as well. So I found one right here that has been advertised quite a bit from Fruit Winners. This is a uh, Miss Piggy. It is a Virginia Cordifolia. Um, I know they've advertised this one quite a bit. Uh, it's a beautiful colored flower, uh, almost like a like a orchid, pinkish color, uh, but it looks beautiful. It's a sun-shaped plant, so definitely if you're looking for a sun-shaped plant, this is a good one to have. Uh, only one available here, but I'm sure they got more in other places.
All right, so yet another plant uh, here that's a prune winter's plant that they fly off the shelves pretty quick. This is a Pink Diamonds Dichondra. It's a fern leaf bleeding heart. Awesome plant, we have one. We had two, I don't know if the other one's coming up, but um, only one left here. So anytime you see these prune winter's containers here at the nurseries, they tend to go pretty, pretty fast, especially uh, a lot of the, the perennials because the perennials are great hardy plants that uh, prune winter's have procured. So there's some pretty awesome plants. And like I said, there's plenty of stuff here. Um, that you can find like this uh, wild rose hookara. We have that one, that's a beautiful hookara. Um, and if you go, like I said, if you're in any of the, of the areas, they have plenty of uh, perimeters plants at all the other locations as well. All right guys, so that was our quick trip to Meadows Farms Nursery. Amber and got her lettuce, of course. She's excited about the lettuce, but we're gonna go ahead and head back home. We got our soil. We got some uh, espoma cow manure as well. And uh, pretty excited to get that stuff going. Just put it in the truck. So we abruptly ended uh, at the nursery because you know, we, we were crossing the road there and there was some cars coming so we had to quickly get across the road. But I have to confess that we did make one more stop before we went home. Uh, we had to go to Lowe's real quick to uh, pick up some other stuff. But while I was at Lowe's, I ended up finding some more plants. And uh, although I didn't take the camera in there, I wanna show you exactly what we got here because we got quite a bit of stuff. Uh, then I wanna show you exactly what we picked up at the nursery. What we actually picked up at the nursery was um, some more potting soil and uh, some cow manure from Espoma. And as you guys know, we use Espoma products um, in our garden because it's, it's one of the best products you can use, especially the potting soil. One of the best potting soils you can use because it retains a lot of water, but it also drains really, really well. So your plants do not stay moist and they don't stay too dry um, during those hot times of the year. Um, so it's definitely a great product we use. And plus it has a mycorrhizae in there, which is a, a great byproduct that helps promote uh, growth in your plants. It, it, it helps th those roots retain the nutrients and the water. So um, definitely use uh, Espoma potting soil. If you haven't tried it before, definitely go ahead and try it. And then we bought the cow manure because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around our roses as well and add some cow manure to our roses since those roses are gonna be in those containers long-term. We wanna replenish a lot of the nutrients in there. And the best way to do that is to put a top layer of compost or cow manure and let that seep down to the bottom and then fertilize as well. So we get, you know, some refreshment in that soil without having to uproot the whole rose and, you know, repot it in some potting soil. Unless I'm actually upsizing the container, then that's when I'll use new potting soil. And that'll be sometime in fall or winter when they're dormant, that way we can pull those guys out, put them in a new container, and then we'll, of course, use fresh pine soil but um again just it was a a, a great trip to the nursery uh the kids enjoyed it um we went and we were just looking for some stuff seeing what they had because obviously they have a lot of stuff uh, you know that that weather's already here where people are starting to plant the temperatures do dip down a bit but not so much so um it's actually perfect temperatures right now to start planting that's what we hope to do here uh, in the next few days and like i said we picked up some extra plants because we're hoping to get some stuff planted we have a lot of containers to do uh, for our garden project that we do here around the community. Um, I think actually this year we, we moved it up to seven containers. I'm not sure, I gotta check the numbers, but I think we, we actually doing seven containers this year for the community here, which is, you know, it's great to be doing that and it's exciting to be doing that, especially with uh, Espoma, um, one of our biggest sponsors to be able to use their soil and their products. Um, it's, it's a great thing to do and along with Peru Winters Plants, which is, you know, a, a, a great combination to have in any garden. So. We're excited to be doing those containers and those projects. And then, you know, of course, going to Meadows Farm Nursery, one of the favorite nurseries that we have um, to go around here. Uh, again, that was one of the first nurseries we ran into when we first got here. Um, it was actually recommended by our Espoma rep where we can actually get our Espoma products. And, you know, we've been going there ever since. You get to know the uh, the management there really, really well. So, you know, we took some photos of some of the uh, some of the employees and some of the customers that were willing to get their photos taken. So it's pretty awesome, pretty exciting. We flew the drone around there too. I um, hope you guys enjoyed all that that was going on. Uh, but that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed what we did, what we showed you here today. And again, if you're in the Virginia area and you haven't been to Meadows Farms Nursery, there's 18 locations around this whole area. Uh, go ahead and take a look at those nurseries. They have some not just Peru winners, but they have some great products in there as well. They have uh, many other native plants as well. If you're into the native plants, uh, trees, shrubs, whatever the case is, they have plenty of stuff. And the staff is very friendly, very helpful. I've never had an issue there. They've always been more than willing to help. So again, that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.